You know, there's there's nothing like being in the green room. Like, okay, I get it. There's no green here. There's no green there. But you're still in the green room. This is where the magic happens. Now, I'm not going to read Teresa's bio because you got her bio. We sent it to you. So I'm going to ask her the question that I love starting off with because you know what? Don't you want to know who is Teresa? And more importantly, what is she up to? So let's ask her. Teresa, tell the folks who are you? And more importantly, what are you up to these days? Hey, I'm Teresa Goss. A lot of people know me as Tigo. I host Expert Talk with Tigo, and it airs all over the place, including Amazon Prime. And what I love to do is talk with experts. I talk with experts all day, every day. And if you think you're not an expert, if you've been doing the same thing for two or three years, or right now, two or three months, you're an expert. We want to talk to you. And that's what we do. We sit down and we share other people's journeys so that when someone else is trying to be an entrepreneur or they're trying to start a business or go to that next level, they can see somebody and go, hey, that guy or that girl is talking to me. So that's what we do. I'm I Teresa Goss, Tigo. <laughs> Hi, Tigo. I love it. Teresa, better known as Tigo. Now, take a moment if you would, and this is a very serious conversation. I get it. Um, these are very challenging times, right? There's this yeah. global pandemic going on that you and I were just talking about. Take a moment and talk about how, uh, tell the folks, what's the conversation that you and your peers have been having behind the scenes in order to quote unquote pivot, in order to quote unquote change, or more importantly, in order to adapt? What type of conversation you're ha having to keep each other encouraged? You know, one of the things that when I was a sales trainer many years ago, I used to teach this thing called N-O-W-H-E-R-E. -E, and I would ask my team, where do you draw the line? After the W or after the no? or the O, meaning is opportunity nowhere or now here. And that seems to be the line that's all the way around the world. Most people think that either there are a lot of opportunities going on right now because of the pivots we're forced to do, or they think there's no opportunities right now. And what I tell people is you got to shift. You got to have an open mind. You know, you can't be a carburetor salesman when there's no carburetors putting cars anymore. You got to just get out there and get past the fear or what I call false evidence appearing real. You got to be ready to go. And it's hard. I mean, especially when you're trying to do it from home. I started the show in my studio with my crew and four episodes in, they said, hey, we're shutting down the country. And I went, oh, I'll just stop my show. And the network said, uh, unless you want four episodes re-airing for who knows how long, figure out how to get us content. And I've been doing the show from my wonderful room here for about eight months now. And we're reaching 500,000 people a week. So I'm going to say there's opportunities. You just got to get around the right people. Hmm. What, do you, what do you say to the person that's listening out there? And I know you're going to talk about when we get started. Look, you're behind the scenes, okay? And I know before we get started in the main segment, some of you are wondering, Shay, here we go again with this whole ways to use the media to really grow my business. But I'm not a techie, Shay. Technology is not my thing. Or some of you are saying, uh, do I look okay? I mean, I'm not like everyone else. Take a moment. I know we'll get into that when we get started, but for those entrepreneurs that are watching now, those speakers, those authors, those coaches, those trainer, trainers, those network marketers, those folks in a service-based business, take a moment and talk about if technology is not your thing, why they should pay attention. If being on camera is not your thing, why they should pay attention. And why they should be really focused on using media to grow their business. One of the best answers I can give you is 90% of the planet uses cell phones and those people that use cell phones watch media they're not reading anymore that's just the way it is i mean they took out script writing out of school to put in typing because they know people are on computers they're using media and right now if you've got a phone you got a 4k camera in your hand in your purse in your wallet in your pocket and if you think you have a face for radio so did i i thought i had a face for radio too if you're not out there in front of this media, your competitors are, and they're going to pass you up because people aren't stopping for a static ad anymore. They want to see you move. That's what it's about. Mm, they want to see you move. and I couldn't wait. There's some segments that I can wait for, right? And there's others I'm like fired up. 
I'm fired up to learn these seven ways, or I think it is, that you can use media to grow your business. So, ladies and gentlemen, I know that you're out there right now, and as you're watching right now, I want you to know, Karen, I see you out there right now. Beth, thanks a lot for tuning in. You're at the right place at the right time. Michelle, who was just on here last night, she's back in the house. Gatsby Newell, it is always a pleasure. Reno, Julie says, Tigo is amazing. They're in your house right now. They just want to see you move. All right, we're going to get started in five. Y'all know how we do. I got a show. Four, three, two, one, it's showtime! I made to my mom. I only did this message for one person, and that's my mom. This is for you, mom. Love you. My name is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Shay Brown. My check, my check. All I do is we win, we ain't no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. And every time I step up in the building, everybody has no one. Yes. Yeah. And they stay there. Great day. My name is Shay Brown, the Happy Entrepreneur, and welcome to the Happy Entrepreneur Show, the number one business development and revenue-focused late-night show in the country where we're on a mission. And our mission is to inspire. Our mission is to empower. And our mission is to provide you, that's right, you, the entrepreneur, with all of the resources that are necessary to execute that big, big, big vision you have for the people you were called to serve. And I believe you have three visions. I love sharing these three visions because it's so important. I believe first, you have a vision for yourself. That's right, the home you want to live in, the, the car you want to drive. Some of you have that organic food you can't wait to get. I get it. But it takes resources, which means it takes, I know, revenue to make that happen. I get it. And then there's a second vision you have. You have a vision for your loved ones. The ones you care the most about. I'm blessed that Mother Dear is still here. She's 73 years old. I have an opportunity to drive 15, down, 15 minutes down the road to see her. But you know what? Oh, wow. When I take her to physical therapy and other places, she likes to shop. She likes to use Amazon. She's probably watching right now, by the way. How many of y'all know it takes resources? <laughs> There's a credit card, Mother Dear, on the other side of that Amazon. But for some of you out there, you want to send your kids to a school of your choice. It takes resources. Some of you want to write a check for a loved one's health care insurance. It takes resources. Some of you want to write a check for a cause you believe in because there's nothing like helping someone else when they need you the most. And it takes, I know, revenue. And then there's a third resource you need. I mean, a third vision I believe you have. You have a vision for the people you were called to serve. Yeah. And you might not be a believer. I happen to be a believer, so I'm not going to pose my faith on you. But I want you to imagine you're Noah in the Bible. And there's a Bible. There's a story. There's a character named Noah. And imagine before Noah gets started, he's ready. He's got all the experience. He's got all the expertise. God's called him. He's ready. And right before he gets going, there's a knock at the door. He's like, what's going on? Noah, over here, Noah. I just want to report, my man. There, there are no hammers in the house. All right. No hammers. No big deal. I know it's the, it's the second knock. It's always that second knock. What's going on? There are no nails either. Might as well let you know. No hammer, no nails. Cool. Rule number one. I don't panic. How many know it's that third knock? It's a knockout. What's going on now? Nora, down here, down here. There's no wood and there's no people. Good luck on this mission. And maybe Ooh. that's you. You got the big heart. You believe. You can't believe any more than you believe right now. You look in the mirror every day saying, I believe. But you don't have the resources, no revenue. So Teresa, better known as Tigo, is here to help you right now use media to grow your business. So let's say hello to Teresa. What's up, Teresa? Or should I just call you Tigo? What's up? What's happening, Shay? You can call me Tigo all day. As my mother would say, just don't call me late for dinner. <laughs> now, let's just address the elephant in the room, okay? All right. You're talking about media. And people probably might be thinking, okay, Shay, what's holding people back? from using media today. What's one of the biggest challenges people have using media to grow their business, which is why we're going to have this conversation. 
I mean, one of the biggest challenges people have from using media is the simple fact that they're afraid of the camera. Let's just go there. You know, they don't like listening to their voice. They don't think they're right. They're worried about what they're going to say, what they're going to wear. Oh, my goodness, my hair. They're worried about the details. But as I tell everyone that when you get into this game, you have to do it. You have to do it re over and over again, repetitive, 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 until you get comfortable doing it. Um, I was blessed to have a great mentor, a couple of great mentors that taught me this game and taught me how to do this. And Lillian McMorris taught me this side of the camera, how to be a host, how to be on camera. And I told her for years, I can't do this. I got a face for radio and I only want to do radio. I can't do this. And she said, yes, you can, you know, but you have to start. And yes, the first interview may not be great. And the first thing you do may not be great. And the third and the 26th, but you're going to find your way and find your message. And the great, great thing, and we'll get into the top seven reasons why you use media, but one of the best reasons why you use media is media doesn't sleep. You know, mm. right now we have internet going 24 seven. People are up all over the world. It's, you know, a little after eight in my world. It's a little after 11 in Shay's world. I've got a friend over in Asia where it's tomorrow in her world. The internet, the media does not sleep. So why not be able to record something, whether it's audio or video, video is always better, um, and have that working for you while you're taking care of your family, while you're taking care of your business. That's that secret sauce my grandmother used to talk about on the back of the stove. That's the secret to the barbecue right there is being able to have something like media because when I started in production 20 years ago, a regular person couldn't do what we're doing right now. You needed $20,000 in a production crew. You needed unions. You needed connections with television networks. None of this was possible. Now you can pull out your phone and start a podcast mm. and reach the world. And there's nothing that stops you. Nothing stops but you. I fear. love that. Media never sleeps. For those folks that are out there, do me a favor, and I'm sure Tigo is okay with this. Hit the share button. No, hit the share button. Like right now, hit the share button. Hit the watch party Please. button. Pay this message forward. We believe in the giver's economy. The person that outgives the competition will outearn the competition. I'll say it again. The person that outgives the competition will outearn the competition. So hit the share button. And when that little box pops up, just put down media never sleeps. Hashtag Tigo. Just put media never sleeps. Hashtag Tigo. Why would you do that? Because you're going to bless another entrepreneur out there. So as you're hitting the share button right now, I'm going to ask her, you know, you're talking about media and how it grows. Take a moment and just give us a quick snapshot of how did you get into this? Oh, this is funny. I actually started as a digital magazine designer. We did the world's first all digital interactive magazine for African-Americans in 2004 called Black Insight Magazine. And this was before like YouTube was popular and Google and people actually called me and said, if I watch this video, will it blow up my computer? Because they had no idea they were still on dial up. And somebody came along and said, well, if you've got a soap opera inside your magazine, if you've got a fashion show in there, you got a talk show in there, you're a producer. And I said, no, I'm not. I'm a computer programmer. I'm a tech geek. I'm not a, a producer. They said, oh, no, you're a producer. And I was blessed enough to have her, that particular person, Hollywood producer, took me to Hollywood every other week for a year and introduced me to Hollywood. And I was like, wow, I'm a producer. And then I met Lillian McMorris and she taught me talk show production. And I've been doing it ever since. Wow, talk show production ever since. What a way to get started on the job training, but. Isn't that how it kind of works sometimes? We kind of find our way there. Let's take a moment, if you can, and I know you've got seven ways or reasons to use media. Um, just share one of those and how it applies for us, the entrepreneur that's watching right now. And so many folks are dualpreneurs, so this is going to be really good. She said media never sleeps. So for those folks that say, I don't have time, isn't it good to know you could be sleeping? And, and the entrepreneur's light is never off, so the media is still going. This is cool. So everyone do me a favor. <laughs> Listen very carefully. She gives us one reason that we need to use media right now. Take it away. You know, one of the reasons that you need to use media right now is it validates you. It endorses you. You know, it connects you with people. It gives you confidence. 
That is a major reason. Because when people see you on television, we're still little kids inside. We still run and tell our friends, hey, I saw so-and-so on TV. Hey, I saw so-and-so show. You know, there's a reason why authors are still writing books all the time. We're not running to the library to buy a book, but that book endorses that person as an expert. You doing your show endorses you as an expert. When somebody wants to go and validate you and you own your own business, they don't ask you for your resume or what your scores and, and grades were in high school. They want to know who endorses you, who believes in you. And if they can see you on your own show or on other people's shows such as this one, you know, Shay has me here because he looked me up. He knows that I am in this business. This is what I do. So he wanted me to come on and share with his people. That's an endorsement for me. This could be an endorsement for you and your business. So number one is it endorses you as an authority in what you're doing. Is that what I heard? Number exactly. one, so, so do me a favor. Ebony Blunt is out there. says, hey, I want you to know I'm starting a digital real estate magazine. Could, good to go, by the way. Karen says, this is really great. Hey, yes, you can share it. So it's okay. Okay, she's okay yep. with this. She's not one of people saying, no, I got to just hold it to my folks. Shay. No, no. She's saying hit the share button and pay it for it. So if you're out there right now, look right below the video. Look right below the video and, and write those words right now. Media helps position you as an authority. It validates you as an authority. That was number one. What is number two? Now, as you're listening to these, I don't want you to be listening to saying, Shay, I know that. I want you to be listening to how can I apply this at a higher level? Okay. This is very, very important. And how can you do this consistently? What's number two? Number two is your branding. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely your branding. You know, people get caught up in their branding thinking, oh, it's got to be a certain color of blue or a certain color of gray. How much yellow do I add? But it really doesn't matter when the, if nobody ever sees it. You know, you can have the cutest logo in the world, and if the only people that see it is you, your team, and, you know, your cousin, that really doesn't help you. But if you've got it in media, you've got your brand. You can endorse shows like this one. You can be a sponsor on summits. This is how you can reach out and have your brand sitting next to the Nike Swish, sitting next to the Golden Arch. Those brands are out there because of media. People share them without even thinking about it. How many movies have you watched? They're walking down the streets of New York and there's all these different companies behind them that you recognize. Well, they should be recognizing your brand too. And this is how you get your brand recognized, putting it out there in media. And I don't mean just putting it out there on a show, but also you know, you have clips, you have TikTok, you've got all these great things. Instagram, that is all media. Mm, I like that. Media never sleeps. I like that. There media never sleeps. For Pam Connery, who's writing right now, one reason that you need to use media now is because it validates you. It gives you confidence. That's so true. But number two behind that is you're taking notes. You guys are great note takers, by the way. Y'all are doing a great job. This is your time right now. She said it extends your brand. I'm putting a little bit of remix version on that. It's about the brand, but it extends your brand into places and spaces you may never have gotten into. We're having this conversation exactly. now. Because of media. Exactly. You and I, through the power of those fiber optic lines, you and I and a couple 10,000 plus eavesdroppers are listening in because of media. Give us number three, by the way. And I'm so glad we're having this conversation. And you watching at home right now, I want you to listen with new ears. I want you to watch with new eyes. You're watching one of the best in the business, Tigo. She's been behind the camera. She's been in front of the camera. And she knows how to produce. And she knows how to get the results you need in media. So for some of you out there that just thought, well, I'll just pay a hundred bucks to Facebook ads. And now you've tried that. Like, well, I see how that works for me. I get it, it works for some folks, but a lot of folks may not be working for it. No offense to Facebook. I love Facebook. So don't censor me, please. <laughs> okay. Don't censor me. I love Facebook. Okay. I'm just saying for some of you, media is another level over and beyond that. And isn't Facebook just a sense of media anyway? At the end of the day. All right. What's number three? Talk to us. What's number three? I'm, I'm front and center. I'm pumped. I couldn't wait. Tell me number ready? three, please. Are you ready? Okay. Because we've been doing number three pretty much since we started this show. When you tell people to hashtag this, mm -hmm. share that, what are you doing? You're extending your reach, right? You're extending mm -hmm. your customer base. How many static ads do people hashtag unless it's got a puppy in it that's doing something really cute? But they'll share a video all the time. 
all the time. They're share TikTok videos, Instagrams, all of that with these hashtags. They're sharing these hashtags. And that's extending whoever did that video is extending their potential customer reach because now you've shared it with your friends and they've shared it with their friends. They may only have 500 friends on their friend list, but that video reached 5,000 people, 50,000 people, some cases 5 million people. Because why? They did the research, did the video, put something really cool out there, maybe seven tips to help you with your brand yeah. or your marketing. And people said, I got to share it. My friend is starting a business. They need to know this. Let me share it. Ah, extends your customer reach. Mm, so number, th was that number three or number four? I lost track. That is number four. Number four, extend your customer reach. Give us a recap of number one, number two, number three, and number four, just so they have it real quick. And Mavis is out there watching. Mavis, thanks a lot for tuning in, man. This, this is the conversation. If there was one conversation I'd want to be in other than sales, obviously I'm a little biased other than sales, <laughs> it, it, would, it would be media. Because for many of you, this is the fastest path to not only financial security, not only financial freedom, but also to financial wealth. And that is you can take what you're knowing and extend it to so many more people and you can help more people faster by exactly. using media. That's the key. It's not about the money. I always say don't chase the money, add value, and the money will chase you. I always say that. But the media is going to get you there faster. So don't resist this. Give them, a, give them a recap of number one, two, three, and four. And let's give them number five. Okay, so number one, media never sleeps. Number two, we're talking about branding. Number three, we're talking about how it endorses you and, and stands behind you as an expert. Number four was us talking about extending your reach, extending to new customers. And number five, you know, we already talked about it a little bit in the green room, but it's what happens with mobile phones. This is what people share with mobile phones. And it's also search engines love media. Mm. If you want to reach the front page of Google, put a video out. If you're a cook or a, a painter or whatever, your website may not be on the front page of Google, but you put a video out teaching somebody how to paint their house, how to do the next great sweet potato pie, you're going to move way faster to the front of the list on Google because why? YouTube is the second largest search engine on the planet that happens to be owned by da -da, Google. So video is loved by search engines. Mm, the number, so number five once again is? Video is loved by search engines. Video is, learned, is loved by search engines. Someone do me a favor that's out there right now. What's up, Tremaine? Thanks for joining. We appreciate it. Look right below the video. Look right below the video and write those words. Video is loved by search engines. And, and is this true? That's fresh new content. Again, you might not jump up and down and say, oh my gosh, hallelujah right now. You might not be saying that, but I promise you, she's sharing with you some of the fundamental principles. And if you execute the fundamentals, I always say never underestimate the power of the basics. This is fundamental stuff. You do this and you're going to build your business. Mm -hmm. You're going to serve more people. You're going to make a difference and a dollar at the same time. If you're out there and you want to make a difference and a dollar at the same time, hit the share button. Hit the, hit the watch party button and pay this for it. You'll make a difference and the dollars will come. All right, give us number six, please. Number six. And, you know, there's very few folks on the planet. I don't think we've ever made it past seven in the whole history we've done the show. But do you see how <laughs> succinct she is? I mean, do, do you see how prepared she is? She's giving you exactly what you need. You go back and look in the archives, you probably never get by number three, right? Because, you know, but her ability to be able to communicate this much content, and I'm doing more talking than she is, in a short period of time is really amazing. So you guys, you guys are watching a pro. You're watching expert. All right, number oh, six, please. You. Number six truly is, you know, breaking that... it. Let me back up and say this the right way. Number six is if you're sitting there saying, I don't have a list, you know, you, you want to promote this or you want to do that, you want to expand, but the first thing you think is, well, I don't have a list. Well, a great way to build a list is by doing a podcast. 
by doing a, a show on YouTube because you get subscribers, you get people to hashtag you, they become part of your list, your following, when you put up a new video, because right now, if you're a follower of Shay, if you're a fan of me, right now, Facebook's doing us a favor and saying, hey, they're live right now. What is that doing besides building our list? So if you want to build a list, which you do if you're starting a business, the list is the lifeblood of your business. So if you want to build a list, the best and easiest way to build one is to create some kind of a media package. Mm. Create some type of media package. Before we get to, to number seven, will you share maybe one of the biggest mistakes that you made early on um, using media to grow your business? Some, of, some folks might say, wow, Shay Tigo is perfect. She's had no mistakes. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. 500,000 people a week. She's like perfect. And maybe you are. You might say, Shay, I've never had a mistake along my business <laughs> journey. Um, but if you have, for those folks that think you're perfect, and I know you are, do you mind just kind of sharing, you know what, here's an idea that, that didn't work for me. But more importantly, here's how I bounce back from it. Here's how I change and the lessons that I learned. Do you mind sharing that with the audience? Yeah, I'll actually give you two. Um, one, I was told for years to host my own show, and I said, no, I'm a producer, I'm a director, I go behind the camera, I'm not the front of the camera. So I spent years teaching other people to be hosts of my shows, and then they went off and grew and did other things, and I had to start all over again. But if I had hosted my own show, how far would I really be? This is actually the first time I'm the host. I've been a sidekick before, mm -hmm. but this is the first time that I'm holding down my own show. So that's one. The other one is I've shot so much footage um, of me, of other people that we never put out because we said, oh, no, it wasn't perfect. It w the light was a little bit dark. Oh, they looked a little fuzzy. Oh, did I say the wrong? Oh, I stuttered right there. <laughs> and never put that footage out. It was great information, a great idea for a project, a great idea for a business. We never put it out. And then we look up on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and here comes Bob Smith doing the exact same thing we filmed two years ago and never used it. So one of the biggest things I have a problem with, getting out of my own way. Mm, for those folks out there that resonate and you're like, yeah, Shay, now is my time. Now is the time. Do me a favor. Look right below the video right now. Look right below the video. What's up, Michelle? What's up, Mavis? What's up, Beth? Look right below the video. Kevin, my man in the house. You're bringing out the all-stars, Tigo. Look below the video and write these words. Now is my time. Not now is the time. Now is my time. And if you don't feel like typing it right now, and you don't feel like it, just hit the heart button. Just hit the like button. Or maybe you can scream out loud, now is my time. I love it. Just, just go ahead and do that right now because this is your time. This is your moment. And Tigo, well, she knows how to do this thing. All right, Tigo, cue us up for number seven, please. This is amazing. Give him a, give him a recap of number one, two, three, four, five, and six. If you have it written out there, go ahead and do that. She's like, yeah, I can do this thing, Shay. This is what I do. She was talking to y'all all night long, okay? We won't be on, but she I would be here because she's having fun. I'm having a blast. I did a marathon not too long ago. We interviewed 30 people in a single day. I thought I'd lost my mind, but I had a blast doing that. I will do this all day long. This is truly this. And bootstrapping is truly my mastery. It's truly my passion. I love doing this thing. Um, so recapping. Video never sleeps. Media never sleeps. This is the way it goes. It's yeah. a great way for your brand to build your brand, share your brand. You know, it's a great way to be recognized as an authority. You know, that's what we're talking about is recognizing an authority. People will share your message, share your vid video, share your vision and help you build your list, which is humongous. That's, that's the moneymaker because the list, if you don't remember anything else from me tonight, except T the list is the lifeblood of your business. So you want to build a list. The best way to build a list is not buying a list because most of those lists have garbage on them. Trust me, I did that. Another mistake of mine. Okay. Best way to do it is having friends, family, 
and followers sharing your message in video and in audio. Do a podcast show. Do a video show. Get out there. If I'm doing it, I'm 57 years old. If I'm doing it, you can do it. You know, and search engines love media. Mm, search engines love media. All right, here we go. Number seven, ladies and gentlemen. Number seven, here we go. Number seven, please. Number seven, it is the best way to teach one on one or teach one on many. The greatest thing is that you can have an audience of a half a million or even a billion, if it's possible to reach that far, or you can have an audience where it's a private training and you're talking from you directly to your client, to your team, or one-on-one -on -one sessions if you're a coach. But the great thing is, is that once it's recorded, you can actually put that up, sell that package, and it's teaching for you while you're taking care of your family. I would say on vacation on an island, but right now we can't do that. <laughs> but eventually you can be on vacation on an island and your training packages, your coaching seminars, your summits, your challenges, all these things, you, your podcast series is teaching one on many while you're a hundred miles away from your computer and away from your mic. Mm, I love it. I love it. I love it. There you have seven ways. This is totally incredible. And she is rocking. She's rocking. She's rocking for all those folks that are out there right now that are writing those lows. Tremaine, I see you, by the way. Thank you so much for having you. John, thanks so much for tuning in. Look, we're moving to a segment now. It's called Today is My January 1st. And for those okay. folks that know what I'm about to do, you can go ahead and write below the video, Today is My January 1st. And for those folks who want to know what in the LL Cool J is Shay talking about, Today is My January 1st. Today is My January 1st. All my new folks, let me welcome you. Let me welcome you. Let me welcome you. Today is My January 1st. Let me give you the backstory. It represents one of those moments throughout the day where we can make a decision. We don't wait for January the 1st. We create a January 1st. Let me say that again. We don't create, we don't wait for January the 1st. We create a January the 1st moment every time we make a decision. And there's probably a thousand plus decisions throughout the day. And any one of those decisions could change the trajectory of your life. You make exactly. a decision that you're going to work out. Yes. Remember you said that nine months ago? Or you're going to sit back on the couch. Corona 20 and binge watch and watch Netflix. Um, that's a January 1st moment. You make a decision <laughs> that you're going to eat French fries and hamburgers and, and put a little salt and pepper and some ketchup. Maybe like my son's put some hot sauce on there. Or you okay. decide you're going to open up the refrigerator and inside the refrigerator there's some kale. Mm, that sounds good. There's some broccoli. God, I gotta have that. Ah, there's some Brussels sprouts. That's a January 1st moment. So it's a do-over. It's a fresh start. It's your past no longer equals your future. So as you're writing those words, today is my January 1st. Let me first say Happy New Year to you, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. And then let me ask the question that I love to ask of Tigo. When you hear those words, today is my January 1st. I can get this media right. Today is my January 1st. What goes through your mind? Fresh start. That's mm. what goes through my mind is fresh start and what am I gonna tackle now? Because I'm one of those people that make, you know, I was taught years ago that you can get way more done in 10 years than you possibly think you could ever get done. And you make a list of way more things you think you're gonna get done in a year and that year blows by you. So for me, when I see January 1st, and for me, that's my, my birthday's in November, and I'm, I've been taught now that I have to treat that as my new year because that is my new year. When I hit that, I go, okay, what did I accomplish? What did I need to, a little bit of help with? What was I kind of slacking on? And what am I going to step into this new day, into this new world, and tackle first on my first day of this new year? It's a new opportunity to kind of get the whiteboards. Um, you know, I'm a little older, so we had chalk, you know, clean the chalkboards, <laughs> clean the erasers, and start again. You know, where are we going now? And get past the doubting myself, telling myself, well, I didn't get that done. Maybe I wasn't meant to do this. Oh. Maybe I need to be thinking about something else and start focusing on what I did get done, how many people I have helped, and how many more I can help and move this train forward. That's what January 1st means for me.
Mm, today is my January 1st. Go ahead and write that right below. We want to welcome Mary Angels is out there watching right now, by the way. Um, Dolores McDaniel says hello to you. She's out there watching. So many out there. I can't get to all of you, by the way, because we're, we're focused. She's right now. She's here with you. She's here with you right now. But you can, you can go sure ahead and am. look right below the video and you can hit the share button. You can hit the watch party button. Pay this message forward to a little girl or little boy or big girl or big boy that's out there right now that they really are ready to change their business. You're going to help another entrepreneur because, you know, Tico didn't show up today asking for a cash out payment or a Zelly payment. She's here right now to serve and add value, yeah. serve and add value. Tico, they're, they're very excited right now. They're out there writing. Today is my January 1st. They're super excited, just like they were back on December 31st. After a couple drinks and the back <laughs> of a napkin, they wrote down those New Year's resolutions and we know how that landed, right? So one of the truisms I love to say, because sometimes there's truth inside of truisms, is that consistency is the key. You may have heard this. Consistency is the key. Consistency is the key. And having said that, what do most people struggle with most? I got two hands raised, by the way. It's consistency. So my, my, my question to you is, what do you share with your clients in order for them to be consistent? My good friend, Dr. George C. Frazier would say, for them to hashtag, stay the course. You know, for me, what I always share is you want to surround yourself with people that are going to support you. You know, um, I was a humongous and still am a humongous Zig Ziglar fan. And he used to say, you know, there's not that many negative people in the world, but they seem to travel, you know, together and around a lot. <laughs> and that's true. You know, so for me, that's what it is. I need to have people in my corner and I tell my clients and my friends, Get people that are going to support you, that are going to have your back, that are going to be honest with you, you know, that are not the first thing that they're thinking about is what's in it for them. You know, if that's what they're thinking, what's in it for them, then they don't really have your back so when true. you're at your lowest because they don't have time for that. They're worried about them. You know, you need people in your corner that are going to say, hey, I haven't heard from you today. You know, it's been two or three days. What's going on with you? How's that big project going? Is there anything I can do? Can I bring you your favorite coffee or something? You just need somebody that wants to listen sometimes, you know? And sometimes you just need somebody. I got a friend that'll just sit there and we don't talk because I talk for a living. They talk for a living. <laughs> but just having somebody that'll just sit there in silence for five minutes is awesome. Because they know what that feels like. They, you, you just look at each other and give the nod. You know, the, yep. Because they know exactly where you are. You want a team of people that support you as much as you support them. Because we all have ups and downs. There's nobody who's 100% 24 hours a day. We have our moments. You got to have somebody in your corner that can look at your face when you start slipping down that hole and they go, wait, wait, nope, 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 not gonna let you go there. Let's change gears for a minute. Let's go and do this. Let's play a game of chess or something. Get your mind on something else so you can go back and tackle that big project because you're an entrepreneur, you're a business owner, and you're fighting for your livelihood. And sometimes it gets a little tough. Mm, gets a little tough. So well said. Take a moment if you would. Um, folks may have two questions in their mind right now. Number one, what type of uh, clients does your firm take on now that you work with? That might be one of the questions, so maybe you can tell them the type of clients your firm is working with now. And, and number two, how should they best stay in this conversation with you? How should they best connect with you, and what's the best way to do that? So take a few moments and tell them, you know, here's the type of clients we look for, and on the other side, here's how to connect with me. Here's how to stay with me. So they, so they know. They, they want to do that, and you you tune in right now because this is the person. This is the power right here. You got the power right there and the one and only Tigo. I thank you. You know, we work a lot with entrepreneurs. We work a lot with people that are bootstrapping, you know, and they contact me because that's my mastery. You know, they have a budget of $10,000 or $100,000 and they've only got 10% and they're going, hey, Tigo, how do I stretch this thing out? You know, and that's what I do. I sit there and help them figure out how through media, through interactive technology. I'm a computer programmer. I program in 16 languages. I'm one of those super geeks that like to be in dark rooms 
with lots of computers around me and I design and do all kinds of crazy coding and all that kind of stuff when I'm not on camera. So I talk to entrepreneurs, I talk to experts, I bring those experts on my show and I let them share their message to help other people that are coming up that path because that's my passion to help them get over those obstacles and over those humps. So if you wanna reach me, if you wanna be a guest on my show, if you want to know a little bit more about bootstrapping or more about media or how to start your podcast, you know, easy. Tigo, T-G-O dot F-M. That's simple. Reach out to me at Tigo dot F-M and let's talk about it. Let's get you on the show. Let's sit down and talk about how we can take your business to the next level using media because you got to use it. Nah, using media because you've got to use it. And that's how you started off. I love that, by the way. I love that. Media never sleeps. Sleep. That's so powerful. So powerful. We're moving to a segment now uh, called Rapid Fire. For those folks that are tuning in for the first time, you might be wondering, Shay, what is Rapid Fire? What's an opportunity right, where I get to ask any question I want? And here's the good news. Tigo can answer or she can say, eh, not for me, Shay. It's okay. But the first All question right. I asked, and for those to watch the show, you know, I love this. Like, I, I wait for every guest to answer this question. Like, this is like my favorite question. Okay. I guess they're, I guess they're all my favorite questions. I wouldn't ask them. <laughs> but this is <laughs> really my favorite question, which is of all the mentors you had along this journey of life, and you've had so many mentors along this journey, um, yeah. what's one lesson you learned from your mentor that you, you can share with us? Now, for all of you that's watching right now, I want you all to lean in, like, like, like all y'all just lean into the camera. Yeah, lean in and do like this with your hands, because in a moment, Tigo's going to drop it on you. Like this is like she's going to give you this gift and you can take the lesson she's learned from her mentor. And guess what? You can use it in your life. It's a lifetime value of doing that. So, Tigo, talk to us. What's one lesson you learned from your mentors that you can share with us, please? You know, I'm going to go a little deep and then I'm going to come back around and explain why I went a little deep. It'll sure. make sense in a second. But. You know, when I first moved to Las Vegas, that's where I live. And I discovered that by no reasons of mine, I went from $30,000 in personal income a month to literally delivering pizzas and working for minimum wage and tips. And it was a pretty dark time. And I got really, really low and found myself in a library one day and asked the librarian, you know, what do I do? Who can I listen to? Cause I couldn't go to a coach, couldn't afford it. And she sent me to a wall of motivational speakers. And I'm, at that time, I didn't even know what a motivational speaker was. And I said, okay. And I went and got Zig Ziglar and listened to him. My God, the first time I listened to him, he said, you had to listen for 16 times in order to get the message. And I thought this guy's crazy. And I've probably listened to that same series over a hundred times. And at the same time, I discovered Rita Davenport, Tony Robbins, but Les Brown, Les Brown changed my life right around that time because he had this saying he said all the time, if you can look up, you can get up. He said, if you're going to fall down, if the world knocks you down, if it takes the wind out of you, if you feel like you can't go on, try to fall down on your back because if you can look up, you can get up. And every time I get down, Every time I hit a brick wall, I hear Les Brown with that giggle that is a signature giggle if you've ever heard him speak. And he's saying, hey, you can look up. You can get up. And I've been doing it for 20 some years now. Wow. Very, very powerful. Thanks so much for sharing, man. I, I love it. Um, you know, you've read a lot of books in your day, and it's kind of unfair to ask to pick one, but I always say what book is top of mind to you that's really shifted your life? And we'll put the good book because that's not a book. That's in a universe by itself. OK, so that's not go to the Bible. That's in a universe by itself. And Think and Grow Rich, that's a book for its time and day. But uh, what's a book other than those two that's top of mind to you? You said, you know, Shay, this is a book to help shift my life. And I like to share the reason why, because it's top of mind to you. What's the name of the book and, and why is it and how has it impacted your life? You know, it's funny you would say that because I'm actually dyslexic. I'm one of those people that um, I don't see words backwards or letters backwards. I don't see spaces when I get tired. The words go into one blurred long list of letters. And so computers are great because it lights it up from behind and it keeps me awake. 
But so for years, I didn't read a lot of books. I listened to a lot of audio books, you know, audible. but yeah, I listened to a lot of audio books. I actually had friends that before audio will existed would record books for me on tape so I could listen to them. But one of the first books I ever read on my own, and it took me forever to do it, and I did it sitting in my car in between pizza deliveries, haha, was The Richest Man in Babylon. And I thought that was, somebody told me to read it. And I said, why? And I'm sitting here reading this story, and I'm like, wow, they're talking to me. And if you ever thought the world was against you, that you couldn't survive or get over it or mate your goal, go find the richest man in Babylon and it'll change your life. Mm, yeah, so well said. Why does Tigo, why does she do what she do? Um, I know it's an unfair question, but I, I was curious, like what's the big why behind you doing what you're doing? Cause you have so much passion. I mean, anyone watching right now can feel the energy. They can feel the passion. For those folks out there, you can show a little love. You can do two things. You can you can hit the heart button. You can look right below the video and write, great job, T, go. Like, T, go. Look right below the video if you're watching. Now, I know if you're on Amazon, if you're watching on uh, YouTube, you can't do that right now, and I get it. But others, you can look right below the video if you're watching live and put, great job, or hit the share button. The share button is a digital applause. That's a way of saying, this is some good stuff. It's a way of saying somebody else needs to hear this message. That's the digital applause. So hit the share button and pay this message forward to someone else. Tigo, the question I was asking before I asked everyone to hit the share button um, is, what's your big why? Why do you do this? I do this. <laughs> it's going to sound a little strange. Um, hmm. You're getting me here, and I wasn't expecting this, but I do it to help. I really do. You know, this is the easiest way for me to reach as many people as possible. You know, if I wrote a book, which people are on me to do, and my business partner is probably out there right now going, yes, we're going to write a book. Um, if I wrote a book, it may reach a lot of people. But I have learned that media, I can reach them where they are, on their phones, in their living rooms, at their office. And maybe something I say for 10 seconds or 10 minutes will touch them and get them to go, I can do this. It is just me stopping me. Opportunities are now here. I'm going to go do this and live my dream. And I love it when somebody sees me or they send me a message and they go, I started my podcast today. Here's my first episode. Or somebody wrote me a message and said they love my show or they took my training course. And I never knew I was a teacher. That's huge to be able to do that. Talk about a footprint that you're leaving behind yeah. as an adopted child of sharecroppers. That's who I am. Yeah. I want to leave a footprint. Man, cool stuff, man. So said, so well said. Um, second, uh, the last question as we're coming down the home stretch. Um, when is Tigo the happiest these days? Uh, what what puts joy in your heart? What makes you happy these days? Ironically, learning new hot, new recipes because of COVID. I mean, I've always cooked. You know, that that's something I've always done. But now, you know, I'm not going to restaurants. So when we want Chinese food, I'm literally learning how to make Chinese food. <laughs> you know, it's like, you want Vietnamese? I got you. You know, and thank God for video. Ha ha. I can go on video and YouTube and find recipes for almost anything. So right now, even though I lost 75 pounds boxing, I'm, I'm a boxer and I love the box. So when you said rapid fire, I was like, you know, let's go. <laughs> um, but, you know, for me, during COVID, cooking, cooking for my family, my kids come over for brunch. You know, if I haven't done a brunch in a while, they're calling, hey, when's brunch again? I'm loving cooking right now. Wow. Loving cooking, loving what you're doing, by the way. You're, you're super amazing. You're super incredible. Um, Frank Marshall is watching right now, says great information. He's out there in Atlanta. What's up, Frank Marshall? And all of I you who are in the house, every one of you listeners, we appreciate every single one of you. I know I said second to last question, but I do have one more question that's on my heart and on my mind, and I'll ask her, and then we'll wrap this thing up. But, you know, if you're speaking now, and you did it when we start off the show, and you're speaking to the persons out there that's saying, darn. I've got to get going. I've been so afraid. 
but I've got to get going. Um, but if Tigo has done it, so can I. What well, words would you just share with that that person right now saying, got to do it. I've waited nine months, but I still haven't really used media, but it never sleeps, so I've got to do it. What would you say to that person right now? You know, when I was a little kid, one of my favorite cartoons was Mr. Freeze in the wintertime. And he had this song, Just Put One Foot in Front of the Other. And I loved that cartoon when I was a kid. And that's what I seem to share all the time now, is just put one foot in front of the other. Just start, you know, just share it. Because what's going to happen if you create a video and you put it on your Facebook page and you just leave it there? It's kind of like putting a pot on simmer. Somebody's going to see it and they're going to share it on their page. And you're going to forget you even did it because you're like, oh, no, it's not for me. I'm not doing it. It doesn't work. And then you're going to get a message in your inbox and they're going to say, hey, you said on the next episode you were going to do X and Y. Where's the next episode? And you'll go, you saw that? You watch that? People know about that? And realize that you're leaving a message and you're helping others by doing it. And the best way to do it is what we're doing right now. Pull your phone out, get your computer out, and just do a 30-second video to start. Just 30 seconds. Turn on Facebook Live. Everybody knows what a button is. It's right there. Turn it on. Go live and, and blame it on Tigo. You can even do hashtag, I'm blaming it on Tigo, and go, okay, here's my Facebook Live, 30 seconds, Tigo, I hate you, but I'm going to put out my first message and just say hi and tag me in it and show me that you're starting because that's putting one foot in front of the other. <laughs> For those folks that are out there, if you haven't hit the share button yet, hit the share button. Uh, hit the watch party button. Uh, uh, pay this message forward to another entrepreneur that's out there. Or someone that's sitting at home is like, you know, this is my time and this is the answer. Some of you have been praying because you believe in prayer and your prayer has been answered. Like right now in, in this moment, Tigo's answered your prayer. She's kind of outlined and shared with you. Not only can you do it, but step by step how to do it. So let me first say thank you so much, Tigo, for being on the Happy Entrepreneur Show. You have a heart to give. You have a heart to serve. You've given the best that you have. You played full out, and certainly we appreciate that. That says so much about you. Uh, for those folks that are out there, I'm going to turn it over to Tigo to have her final thoughts right now. Um, but she'll share where you, where you can connect with her. Um, she'll share the type of clients she worked with, and then she'll share her final thoughts. I ask her. I said, hey, sometimes we close up. I like to ask, do you have any final thoughts to empower or inspire someone out there? And she says, I'll share a few final words to close out. Like, whoa, isn't that kind of cool? No disrespect to my other guests. I know you're busy. You have <laughs> schedules. You couldn't do it. So I don't think I'm disrespecting you. I appreciate all of you. And I want to thank you, the viewers, for watching. So, Tigo, once again, um, thank you so much. We've got to have you back. I look forward to doing so much with you. You're making a big difference in the world. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm watching, and I know they'll be watching as well. Over to you for your final thoughts and comments, my friend. Thank you so much. You know, before I tell my final comments, I definitely want everybody to know this young man is coming to Expert Talk. Okay, so you guys watch for him because he's coming. He's going to come into my house. I came into his. He's coming into mine. I can't mine. wait. I can't wait. We're going to have some good times. <laughs> we'll have some good times. And then on top of that, you know, he asked me for the top seven. I gave him the top seven. And he said a lot of times they don't make it through seven. I'm sitting here going, oh, yeah, we're going to make it through seven. <laughs> But because I always like to under-promise and over-deliver, I think I need to give you number eight. Let's do it. And number eight is this time right now in 2020 is the best time to do media because it's the most affordable way to get your message out, period. It is the absolute most affordable way to get your message out. Even Facebook ads get more return when there's video attached to it than when you do it with a static ad. So remember that number eight is the most affordable way to deliver your message to your target audience. And I just want to thank you. Thank you for letting me be on your show. You know, thank you for having me. I want to come back. This was a lot of fun. You went deep on me. You didn't warn me about that, but that's okay. I don't mind being fragile. It's all right. They call me the turtle for a reason. I got a shell on my back. I crawl into my shell sometime and then I come back out. But this was 
absolutely amazing if you guys are figuring out how to use media, if you're figuring out how to start your business, if you're working with a bootstrap, I can tell you my business partner and I will tell you we don't use shoestring budgets. We use the cap at the tip at the end of the shoestring to start our budgets, to start our businesses. I'm the person you want to contact if you need a little help with that, if you need a little help getting over your fear of the camera, if you need a little help just creating your idea. Sometimes you just need to bounce it off somebody. So reach out to me. And if you want to be a guest on my show, come into my house. Let's have some fun. Reach out to me at tgo, T-G-O dot F-M, and I'll definitely get back to you. It's been amazing to be here. Well, thank you so much once again. For you that's watching out there, hit the share button. If you haven't hit the share button, look right below the video. I'm putting great job, Tigo. Just look right below the video. I'm putting great job, Tigo. I want you to know as you're watching that you're amazing. You're incredible. And that for you, today is your January 1st. You now know that media never sleeps. That for you, today is your January 1st. You can do it scared. And you don't have to get it right. You just got to get going. And most importantly, as she talked about now, that the future is bright. Put your sunglasses on because the best is still yet to come. The oh, best definitely. is yet to come. The best is yet to come. With that being said, for those folks that want to know who's doing all that screaming, who's doing all that yelling, my name, by the way, is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. And I promise you from the bottom of my heart, we'll make some good things happen. We connect again next time. Remember, time is long life on the other hand is very very short so you got to live in the moment and you got to make it count god bless and we wish you success thanks a lot tigo you're amazing ladies and gentlemen we out of here we got to go peace i'll see y'all again soon we out I made to my mom. I only did this message for one person, and that's my mom. This is for you, mom. Love you. My name is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, check. Shay Brown. My check, my check. All I do is we, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. And every time I step up in the building, everybody hands go up. Yes. Yeah. And they stay there. Thank you, thank you, Captain.